everybody, it's Dawn from Diamond Dotting Divas. We're back to finish our project where we're making a pillow out of our finished diamond dots. So in the last video you saw that we had given a coat of Mod Podge to these and we were going to let them dry. I have an update. The Mod Podge I had did not dry as clear as I had hoped it would. Um, not sure if it's because it's maybe a little older or what. So I'm going to change from Mod Podge to something a little bit different. You can use a polyacrylic that you can purchase in any store, just like a Minwax polyacrylic. You could do that and just brush it on. I just happen to have this in the house, so I use this DuraClear High Gloss. It's by DecoArt. Uh, looks like I got this from Hobby Lobby, $7.99. So a little pricey, but I had this in the house, so I tried it and it helped. It added the shine. I don't know if you can see it in the picture, but it added the shine back to the picture, the, to the dots. So I'm going to switch from Mod Podge to either a Minwax polyacrylic or this high gloss uh, DuraClear. Okay, so I have my piece. I cut out all the trim around it. You cut it right next to the dots. Okay, so it's, it's still pliable, a little stiffer, but still pliable. And then I have a, a pillow cover. Okay, it zips on the side, so it's flat. These are much easier to work on. Also, if you're doing them for the different holidays, much easier to store. You can just take your pillow out, store them, and you're ready for next year. So I have a black pillow cover. And then what I did, so my picture, I could actually put my picture right on here. It would be the black on black, but I need to make it pop a little bit. I think it needs more. So I have some red, red fabric that I cut a little bit bigger than my project. So that I have a trim to it. All right. So then what I did is I took an iron, and as you can see, I just ironed over an edge on all sides. And of course, before you do that, you're, or after you do that, you're going to clip the corners on an angle so that they don't show when you fold them over. So here's my corner after I have it all ironed down. You're going to clip this on an angle, and then when it folds over, you can see that it goes in a little bit so that you don't see the edge on the outside. Okay, so after I have that all done, I'm going to glue this down to my pillow first. And what I use to glue it is called Fabric Fusion. It's by Aileen's. It is a permanent fabric adhesive. Um, again, there's a lot of different ones on the market. This just happens to be what I've picked up, and I think I got this at Walmart. You can get them at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, anywhere. But you're looking for a permanent fabric adhesive. So I have this. And what I'm going to do is glue this down to my pillow, okay? And I'm not going to do it because it takes a little while to dry, but just so you get the idea, you're going to glue it down. Now, when you glue it down, I strongly recommend that you use your brush to spread this out. If you have any pools of it anywhere, depending on your fabric, it may show through as a dark spot. So use your brush to spread this out and get it as thin as possible and glue it down. Then you're going to do the same thing, glue on the back of your project, and you're going to glue that down. Okay, and just kind of center it. I use a ruler to kind of make sure I'm in the center of the pillow and um, the framing. All right, and you get that all glued down with your fabric glue. Okay, now you're going to just let that dry. I would recommend you put something heavy on it to let it dry, and then you are good to go. Now, if you wanted to add any more to it, you could do another trim on it with ribbon. You could add buttons to it, whatever you want. Be creative. Um, I just happen to have some of this ribbon left from last year of this Christmas black Christmas ribbon so I kind of like it with the trim like this and we're gonna do like the magic of TV this is what it looks like when it's all done okay glued down my project trimmed in the red fabric and then I took that ribbon that I had that fabric ribbon and I went around here I did miter the quarters a bit folded them so that they kind of cross over everywhere and then put something heavy on it let it dry overnight okay and that is it it's that easy so do something fun with your projects you don't have to frame them all these would make a great gift um, you could do a pair of these it'd be great all you need to do then is put your pillow in and look how easy there's my pillows right off the couch just put that in there zip it back up and you're ready for the holidays thanks everybody for watching have a good day bye